This is called the PECM, which is inspired by the Zoe EC2, one of the most popular shapes and notorious for Counter-Strike pros. I have the EC1 right here. Now this mouse is old, and just like the EC2, it's pretty heavy for today's standard, and it's got this annoying rubber cable that gets in the way. The shape, however, is legendary, and this right here is the solution to the weight and the cable. Now, I'm not sponsored by Piranha, who made this mouse, but the maker sent me one, and since I really liked it, here's the video. Getting a custom mouse like this is expensive, will cost you around 200 euros pre-built since it's not mass-produced, and it's made by one single guy. He's got a lot of different custom products that are inspired by other famous products. They're not exactly the same for legal reasons, but they're very similar to the original shape. The list of what you can get is pretty impressive, and the modding is even more impressive. The black shell is made with a 3D printer, and yes, that sounds a little budget, but the build quality is surprisingly sturdy, with barely any flexing, and it's got a nice grippy coating. Of course, you can see some 3D printed imperfections in the shell, and the pre-included grip tape attracts a bit of hair, but this is not a beauty contest. This is a gaming mouse, and it's awesome. The regular EC2 is not wireless and weighs about 90 grams. This is wireless and comes down to about 57 grams. One third of the weight is gone, including the cable. Using it in-game feels almost too light for its size, which takes a while to get used to, but after a few hours of using this, I can no longer return to the EC products. The internal components of the mouse are from Logitech, and because it's Logitech, you're getting top-tier wireless technology together with an amazing sensor, which leaves you with unlimited aim potential. Now since there's no port on the front, how do you charge the mouse? This is pretty cool, but obviously this makes charge and play a no-go. However, the battery inside lasts for a couple days, and it's personally never been a problem for me. Time for ASMR. Mouse 1 and 2 use Kill 4.0 switches, which are some of the best in the market. There's barely any post or pre-travel. This includes the side buttons and the scroll wheel steps are light and smooth. The bottom comes with small rounded PTFE feet that glide just as well as any popular mouse out there. And I can't think of anything bad to point out, except for perhaps the price. But you can also get a mod kit if you want to build it yourself, which comes with instructions and it's a lot cheaper. What surprised me the most about this is the build quality. I always had the impression that big gaming companies are the only ones that can make good products, but this proved me wrong. A gaming mouse like this is a perfectly viable alternative and can even outperform other products. You might be worried that because it's custom built, things will start to break with time, but I've used it for about two weeks without any concerns whatsoever. Besides, if it ever came down to it, you can replace the rechargeable battery inside and buy one from Amazon. Plus, you can buy replacement shells if it breaks, but that should be under extreme circumstances. In my opinion, this custom mouse inspired by the EC2 is a definite upgrade. Of course, it isn't an exact copy of the EC2 shape for legal reasons, but it's ultra light, wireless, and the buttons, clides, and scroll wheel are just better. For being a mouse that provokes the full-on palm grip, it's the best palm grip mouse I've ever used for CSGO. I'll put a link in the video description to Piranha's site so you can check their store and read all about their products. I've also decided since I'm maining the glorious Model D- to give this away to one of you guys. If interested, check the video description and look for my tweet.